Hi guys, welcome to the Photo Club 1719. Today I'm gonna try the camcorder. Florin. They started to making also camcorders. Like as far as I know, they used to uh, like still doing the CCTV cameras. Probably they decided like why not to try to do the camcorders. It's uh, like Florin HDV. 312p uh, there is no name of camcorder as usually it happens like supply accessories is AC adapter rechargeable battery pack AV connection cable USB cable on menu so there's a menu there's a little bit of advertising about the 24 civilian as I said like they do that like on the menu here big enough yeah <laughs> what says here first like before you open it like it says please uh, read the menu carefully before you started using it yes yeah, some of the people not reading them uh, it's in the bag it's very handy like on the back is created that you can put it onto the belt so you can just walk and have a camcorder on belt like yeah oh yeah it's handy one like small one good feeling in the hands there's a <laughs> lights in front if you needed extra light so you can turn it on yeah as like look like as all normal uh, camcorder can't say it anything like it's the same story like with any camcorders you have it like yeah, there's a handle there's a button there's a zoom in zoom out button like if you want to take a picture there's a bo button to take a picture so fluorent hd high definition 24 megapixel uh, still image video so it says also stabilizer 16 uh, zoom super zoom and there is a stereo microphone at the top of it, tripod, opens, closed, on what else they said, there is a cable, yeah, IV, oh yeah, now it's as usual, but it's old USB connection, so you can just charge uh, with the USB, so you don't need to pull out the battery and also like you can connect in here and you can use the power supplier for the phone anything you want it and there's uh, yeah uh, video on audio uh, interesting it says stereo but it has uh, uh, one exit for audio it should be like two so Maybe they designed like new stereo way like that it comes from the cable. I don't know. This is it. Nothing else. So now I show you how it's uh, like turn it on and what kind of menu it has it like. And then we're gonna do the test uh, on two cameras. My camera, which I'm usually using, it like on versus this camera. So which one is better or they equal or whatever. So we, we're gonna just taste this camera, how it's look like. Then you can see it with my camera. Now we're gonna try to turn it on and put the SD card in it. Here you can see it's look interesting, but that's the battery. And here you have to just pull a little bit away to get the battery out. And as you can see on the battery there is a plastic cover so remove the plastic cover and slide the battery back in there is a card so it shows here how to put the card in we're gonna slide in here clipping it so press a little bit and clipping it so there is a two open close it and now, as you can see, it turns on automatically. It's not starting recording automatically, but it turns on automatically. 
it shows you straight away how long you can record on this SD card on there's a few settings shows up around so there's a video mode set up there's a battery in the corner and there's a buttons in here so there's a, for example menu we can take a look at menu it's uh, to move menu from here into here you use that and if you want to get up and down then you have to press those buttons which is up and down so we can take a look now I'm gonna press the button and we're gonna look what's in here in here there is a movie size you can change metering white balancing effect data stamp you can turn it on so that's it there's no more in this menu anything so now we can change to the settings what's in the settings settings auto, auto review power frequency power saver minutes it turns out automatically data you can set up the data you can change the language output TV output which uh, output it has it we need also find out as we are in Ireland and we need to set the lab not in the uh, AC it's needed to change to the file so you raise power button and then you choose up and down and then you press again power button so we, we, we set up now the TV output USB in the same story you press power button ok format reset all if you set up something which you're not happy you can just reset it sound yeah that's all that's the all menu what it has it like in here with mode we can change the play in the corner as you can see in here now you can take a pictures so it's allow you to take a pictures also it will be like on my card it can allow me to take 4526 images wow there's nothing to play so then nothing you see the menu there's no, no cover actually in the front leg so it's gonna be a little bit scratches like when you put in into the back like just careful that nothing will be in here to scratch like. nice and easy turns on nice and easy close turn on bye bye so it's like you, you don't need it as usually to press on the button to turn it on or turn it off you have to just uh, open it, the monitor on the door is open automatically the door is open, turns all automatically also let's try to test I turn it on at the same time two cameras and I want to see the quality the different quality I'm using the Canon Legia HR R206 uh, so I'm recording that as you can see on two cameras at the same time different situation sunshine you can take a look around so if you're looking up and down now we're gonna taste the zoom in zoom out happen on the my one so, 
that's the plus. Now we're going minus. My one gets faster if you push faster. This one it goes slower less. And it settle up on the high definition. When it's not sunshine. So we finished the test, you can see everything, how it's look like, and uh, which one is good, which one is bad, like, is the point to buy this camera or not, make your own decision, like, I can tell you one thing, one thing, like, it's not costing so much, like, but if you're traveling somewhere and you're taking your camera, which is costing like 500 euro with you, and if by any chance you're gonna lose it, like, then you will be in trouble like this one it's cheaper maybe the quality is not like you like it but it's still fine like you know thanks for watching i see you next time all the best from photo club 7910